Right, so let's do number three. Uh, 3A, you are supposed to perform the test based on Mr. Young's results using a 1% confidence level, port the value of the p-value, and circle your decision. So the first thing you want to notice is that your n, your sample size, is 14, and your p in this situation is 0.7. So immediately you can probably guess that you will not be able to perform the large sample z test in this situation because the two conditions that you need to satisfy won't be satisfied due to the small sample size. Um, so in this case, you want to do the small sample binomial test. So for this problem, your test statistic is 13. Tell circle right here. Um, your n is 14 and your proportion that you're testing is 0.7. So we basically just want to do this. We want to find the probability that x is equal to or greater than 13, which can be de decomposed as the sum of these two probabilities, p of x is equal to 13, and p of x is equal to 14. So, we can simplify this by doing this. And once we set up this equation, all of this math evaluates to and of course you can just plug all the stuff into your calculator and your final answer should be something like this. Remember that your final answer needs to be to four decimal places. So once you find this, this will be your p-value, and it would be 0 0.0475. So after you find your p-value, you have to decide whether or not you want to reject the null hypothesis, H0, or fail to reject. So note that in this problem, the significance level is 1% instead of the usual 5%, and because your p-value is greater than 1%. In this case, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. So that would be our decision. Okay, so moving on. Part B of question 3 has been recommended to repeat the survey using a larger sample size for the new survey design. The probability of concluding more than 70% of all the city residents favor the proposal when there really is more than 70% would increase, decrease, or stay the same. So for this question, you need to recognize that the probability of concluding more than 70% of all city residents favor the proposal when there really is more than 70% is basically just another definition for statistical power. So as a reminder, statistical power is basically just the probability that you reject the null given that the null is false. Um, so once you understand that the statistical name for this probability is power, we can go back and answer the first part of the question. Um, so the first sentence of the question says that maybe we should repeat the survey using a larger sample size. So essentially if n increases, then the power will increase, which is just a property that you should know. All right. Moving on to the next question, question four. Let's get this ink out of the way. So question four states that a researcher will compare UM students and MSU students on 50 different quantitative variables. He will use a 10% significance level to carry out the 50 independent sample t-tests, one for each variable. If for each test the null hypothesis is actually true, how, about how many statistically significant results will be produced? So the first thing you need to identify is the number of samples. So we have 50 independent sample t-tests. 
Second number of interest is the 10% significance level. And for this, all you need to do is multiply 50 by your significance level, which is 0.1. And obviously, this evaluates to 5. So your final answer would just be 5, 5 tests. So lastly, question 5. Subaru has always been considered a flat company, that is, having fewer employees and management than other autom automobile manufacturers. Corporate headquarters recently reported that 14.4% of all of its employees are in management. So this number, 14.4%, would be considered a parameter or a statistic. So you have two options, parameter and statistic. Um, recall that a parameter is always relating to the total population that you're interested in. Whereas a statistic is just the estimate of the parameter based on a sample that you take from the population. So this question is talking about um, this question is referring to Subaru. So in this case, your total population would just be Subaru. And this 14.4% would be the uh, number of employees in management. So because this 14.4% is relating to the population of Subaru as a whole, then the answer would just be parameter. We are not taking any samples from this population, so in this case, statistic would not be the correct answer. Okay.